in others, this is going to be a kind of art tutorial on how, or on how on earth did she create that. A fair warning in advance, this is going to be colorful. I am one of those people that is definitely not a color minimalist. As you can see, I use different kinds of green and yellow and that kind of stuff because I like to mix them. And I drew um, a picture of all of this before in a sketchbook because I really like to do that so I have an idea of which um, layers I need to create. So I started with the green leaves and the brown, I, we call them cigars, I don't know how they are called in, um, in, in English, but in Dutch they are called cigars. So as you can see, I use different kind of green and yellow and then I mix them together. So that way they don't get, you don't get like um, um, one color, but you get, get more of a depth in your um, colors. It took me a really long time to find that out. So now I'm using for um, the birds that I'm going to <coughs> paint, I'm using pink and orange. They are all acrylics, but some are cheaper and some are the more expensive ones from Talens, the, the Amsterdam. But mostly I use very cheap acrylics because I just have them in my stash and it's I, I can't just throw them away. I'm that's uh, I'm a sustainable green kind of girl, so that, that's why I use everything I have. And for the white, I always use gesso. I started to do that, and I still like doing that. So it's just a habit, I think. I have seen that when people use titanium white, it, get, it gets a better bright white. But for now, I still like it this way. So I just used my um, use my my uh, uh, gesso, and um, I, I use a lot of white. So it's also more uh, less expensive to use it that way. Last week I always uh, I saw a um, a little YouTube and it was about that we in our lives get less and less color especially in the bigger cities that they when they throw down these brick uh, buildings those the, with all kinds of shades of red and and all kinds of colors of woodwork and that kind of stuff. And they all get replaced by gray buildings of gray and concrete and that kind of stuff. So we get less and less color around us. Maybe that's why I'm still drawn to a lot of color. I don't know. I always wear a lot of color too. I wear like bright yellow, bright pink and bright uh, orange, even though I'm not that young anymore, but I, I still keep doing that. As you can see now, I'm using another layer on top of the former. This will go on and on. I will add layer on layer because I really like how it's looking and I also like if you use, you, you can't see it very well, but I really like also that when you use more paint, you get the depth of the, the brush marks as well. So it's not only that the colors get nicer, but you also get a little depth in the, in the, um, in the layers of paint. Painting in a loose way is still very difficult for me. Somehow when I, um, I, I draw it first like I did today with a, with a pencil, then I feel the, the urge to keep uh, everything within the lines. I, I really 
have to fight and to try to to get oh that's my little dog outside i don't know if you can hear her but she's walking like she's seeing a lion but anyway i really um have to fight and have to think like oh you have to lose up you have to loosen up you have d don't d don't try to be very specific and don't try to mix the colors too much it's really very hard for me to do but i think i'm learning and that's really nice so now i thought it was kind of bland i also did the background i see but of course i forgot a, a video to make of that one <sighs> sometimes i push um the button or I push uh, on play on my phone and then it just doesn't do it or I'm not doing it or whatever but so I, I did the background in the same way as I did the birds with um, a turquoise and green and white and then just going with the flow just around the birds and the, the greens but I thought it was kind of flat. I wanted more. So now I'm adding these um, blue circles with my um, acrylic um, pen. But it's a cheap one. It's not a Posca. I bought some cheap pens because I really... I. I I do like Posca pens very much, but I think they are really expensive. And as I'm still learning, I just am a cheapskate and I just buy the cheap stuff. So I was making these circles and then I did uh, them with a little green, as you can see later on. And then it was ready and then I showed my husband and my son and they were both like oh that's fun these uh, flamingos they did recognize they were flamingos so that's a good part so they said oh that's f so much fun flamingos underwater and I was like they aren't underwater but they said yeah but it looks like bubbles so I had to go back and had to make something different out of it. So now I just have any marker. I can't remember the name. It's not like a brand. It's just a, a normal marker. Well, I tried, as I can see, my um, acrylic um, black first, but it was uh, it was gone. So now I use a small. Um, marker and I just trace the birds because I really wanted to get them popped out more so after that I just started to make flowers from the bubbles and that was really the final thing that this um, painting really needed I mean, I was really happy when I saw it and it, it, it's just a fun thing. It was very much fun to do because I, as I said, I really like to work with colors. Well, that's it for today. I really hope that you will um, do something creative too, that you will have a colorful day and that you will enjoy your day and hopefully to see you back soon. Bye bye for now and thank you, thank you for watching.